All right, guys, so this morning, Global got a brand new data download. And as always, we're gonna check out exactly what's going on together. Now, first things first, I wanna give a quick shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all these assets. Make sure to follow him if you aren't already doing so. And with that said, let's pop down to the bottom of this page here. And for anybody that follows the news regularly, there really shouldn't be any surprises here. The first thing we're getting is this new explosive chain battle boss, which is gonna be Baby. And he's gonna be dropping on Global in about four days from now. And from there, we have some Extreme Z Dokkan Festival tickets. There are two of them, which means there's most likely gonna be two separate banners, one for each of the upcoming Extreme Z you know, awakened units. And those two new units are obviously going to be AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Here are his EZA medals and STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku with his four medals. And uh, yeah, these guys, these EZAs are going to be out in less than a day, I believe about 15 hours from the time this video drops. And if I'm available, if I'm not otherwise, you know, preoccupied, I'll definitely try to go live, try to do a stream for you guys as soon as the event drops. It's going to be one event for both units. And I believe um, someone did do the calculations and it's not going to be two stones per uh, stage, right? So it's not going to be 60 stones for the entire event. But I believe we are going to be getting some missions for both Goku and Vegeta. So in total, we can expect about probably like 40 stones or so. We're doing the entire event and also Extreme Z Awakening, both Goku and Vegeta. 60 would have been nice, right? Two stones per level would have been nice, but I'll take this, honestly. It's not it's not too bad. Okay, so anyways, make sure to keep an eye out for the stream if you guys are available at that time, okay? And from there, we have some assets for the Extreme Z Battle events. We got Goku and Vegeta together. We got some cut-ins with them. And uh, from there, we also have some more assets with the Unawakened Vegeta cut in for him. There's Goku with another cut in. And finally, the remaining assets for the event. And here is the logo and the name for the Extreme Z battle, which is called Destined Rivals Saga 3. I'm pretty sure one and two were the other Extreme Z battles where both Goku and Vegeta uh, easy aid at the same time. And that about does it, guys, for uh, this that data download. It's not a very big data download, not a lot to talk about, but to quickly break it down, uh, Dokkan Battle Global data download for May 12th, 2021, which is obviously today. Extreme Z Battle for STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Extreme Z Dokkan Festival tickets and Explosive Chain Battle Boss Baby. So there you go. That was this morning's data download. If you guys came just for you know the basics then feel free to click off the video but if you want to stick around and you guys missed my video from yesterday um, and you want to see what the SDR Goku and the AGL Vegeta do after their Extreme Z Awakenings then definitely keep watching. So let's pop over to the Dokkan Wiki now and we'll start here with the STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku uh, his pre EZA details and then his Extreme Z Awakening details for the comparison okay so pre EZA his leader skill is STR types, or sorry, super STR types, key plus three, HP, attack and defense plus 120%, and extreme STR types, key plus one, HP, attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack, immense damage, and defense plus 30% for six turns, and uh, passive is attack plus 150%, medium chance of evading enemy super attack, and countering with tremendous power. Now, with the EZA, his leader skill becomes uh, super SDR types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, and extreme SDR types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%. Super attack greatly raises attack for one turn, causes immense damage, and greatly lowers enemy's defense, and raises defense by 30% for 6 turns. Passive is attack plus 150%, defense plus 120%, plus an additional attack plus 40%, when performing a super attack and medium chance of evading enemy super attack and countering with tremendous power. So obviously the main issue with Super Saiyan 4 Goku before the EZA as awesome as he was, he hit really hard for his time. His defense was trash, 
right? Let's be honest. Even though he did raise defense still before, um, it just wasn't good enough for some of the harder events of the game. But now, you know, he's getting 120% defense on his uh, passive, and he's also getting a massive boost to his defense stat. Um, well, maybe not massive, but a pretty significant boost to his defense stat after the Extreme Z Awakening. So, when he's rainbowed, he gets up to 10,306 defense, 19,880 attack, so almost 20,000 attack. You give this guy a skill orb, he's going to be over 20,000 attack, which is essentially in like the LR range, right? And 19,325 HP. So, yeah, he's going to be a much improved defender, but offensively, He's going to be even more of a monster than he was before because he's greatly raising attack. Wait, hold on. Is that new? That is new. Yeah, yeah, Okay, so <laughs> for a second I was like, was that there before? Nah, so he greatly raises attack for one turn now, and he also gets an additional 40% attack when performing super attack. And since this additional boost is calculated separately, he's getting a total of 250% attack when performing a super attack and I don't think this includes his uh, greatly raising of attack as well so he's just gonna be hitting so hard guys with the EZA like I haven't seen the numbers I haven't seen some of the showcases out there but I can tell you right now he's gonna be an insane damage dealer while giving you you know pretty impressive tanking I would say after he supers especially if he supers like twice or three times um, yeah he's gonna be pretty solid defensively too so this is I feel like exactly what Super Saiyan 4 Goku needed I'm very happy with this EZA and with that said let's move on to the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta so for Vegeta before the Extreme Z Awakening his leader skill is Super AGL types key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 120% or Extreme AGL types key plus 1 HP attack and defense plus 50% super attack final shot attack greatly or sorry causes immense damage and greatly lowers enemy's defense and passive is attack plus 100 attack and defense plus 120 percent medium chance of evading enemy super attack and countering with tremendous power so before the EZA uh, Vegeta was definitely more balanced I would say than Super Saiyan 4 Goku was now with the EZA his leader skill becomes super AGL key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 130 percent and extreme AGL key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 30%. His super attack greatly raises defense for one turn, causes immense damage, and greatly lowers defense, and raises attack by 30% for six turns. And his passive becomes attack plus 150%, defense plus 120%, plus an additional attack plus, uh, plus, attack plus 40% when performing a super attack, medium chance of evading enemy super attack, and countering with tremendous power. And just like Goku, he gets a total boost of 250% attack when super attacking because this is calculated separately, which is still insane to me. And uh, yeah, his passive, if you didn't notice, is identical to Goku's. Like, there are no differences between these two passives. Their main difference comes from their leader skills, obviously, and their super attacks, where Goku greatly raises attack for one turn and raises defense by 30% for six turns. Vegeta is flipped, so he greatly raises defense for one turn, and then raises attack by 30% for 6 turns. So, obviously on paper, it looks like Vegeta's gonna be the better defender, and Goku's gonna be the better, you know, attacker, but after a couple supers, I would imagine, like I still think overall Goku's gonna be the better offensive unit, and Vegeta's gonna be the better defensive unit, just like they were before, but... If you think about it, after a couple supers, like if they both super two or three times, then they're raising, you know, Goku's raising his defense by 30% each time, but Vegeta's raising his attack by 30%, um, the attack by 30% each time, so it might become kind of even, you know, like Vegeta's going to be very good offensively with a few supers, and then Goku's going to be very good defensively with a few supers, so... I'm interested to see those numbers. Like I said, I haven't seen those calculations, so I can't tell you guys for sure. But they're both going to be awesome. That's what I can tell you for sure right now. They're both going to be absolutely amazing. And uh, in terms of his stats, when rainbowed and fully extreme Z awakened, Vegeta has 18,320 attack, 12,314 defense, and 19,400 
and 7 HP. So uh, there you go, just amazing Extreme Z Awakenings. I can't wait. Like I said, I will try to be live as soon as they drop. I might be live like an hour before just to, you know, build up the hype, let people uh, take their time to get in. So yeah, stay tuned, stay tuned. Now, finally, we're gonna quickly go over the new baby boss, which is uh, coming out on May 17th. And his advantageous categories are gonna be GT Heroes, Giant Form, and Dragon Ball Seekers. And the advantageous characters are essentially just the, the GT Heroes, I guess. Yeah, we got the GT Trio, various forms of Goku from Super Saiyan 4 to Base Form. And then we have a few Vegetas. Uh, Trunks and Goten, Goten and Gohan, some Trunkses, some Pans, some Gotens, and that seems to be it. So uh, yeah, those are all the details we'll talk about right now for the Boss Baby. <laughs> boss Baby. Um, and obviously once we get closer to the event, I might actually make a more comprehensive guide. But he is coming in a couple days, so get ready for that too. And... That's going to be it, guys. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are stoked for the Super Saiyan 4 Awakenings. Big shout out to Proton10MG for posting the assets. And uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.